What is up everybody, it's Larry back with you. And today I'm looking at some products that Kingston was nice enough to send out for me to review. It's the Mobile Light Wireless G2. They also sent me a 16 gig card and a 16 gig USB 3.0 stick to put some data on and actually try the G2 out. Now this thing is more than just a Wi-Fi spot for transferring uh, movies and pictures. It actually has an uh, external battery for charging your phone. And by utilizing the SD card slot and the USB slot, you could actually add two terabytes of storage to this. It's a very amazing product and we'll get more in depth with it uh, as we get into the video. So opening it up, you're greeted with a, a pretty extensive and comprehensive instruction guide. You also get a uh, adapter in case you have a micro SD card that you would like have to have it read. And then you also have your charging and syncing micro USB cable. You have uh, three LED indicators, the battery, Wi-Fi, and internet access. You have your charging port and connection port there. On the back side, you have an ethernet port where you can plug in a hard wire, say at a hotel, and then this will make it uh, Wi-Fi. Then you have your SD card slot and your USB slot on the other side there. A couple little nubs at the bottom to keep it up off your desktop. And then what you're going to need to do is install this app. It's on Apple Store, Google Play, and the Amazon Store. So you'll load that onto your mobile device, whether it be your phone or your tablet. Power up your G2 and then connect to the G2 Wi-Fi. Now it's sending out a Wi-Fi signal on its own. So you're gonna have a, a Wi-Fi connection with the G2 to your device. Here I'm using the Note 4 and that's what I'll use for this video. So when you first set up, you're going to have the option to rename your device. So I'll rename mine just to make it easier for uh, when I connect and remembering. And then you're gonna to wanna to put in a password. So obviously not everybody and their mother can connect to your storage and get into your uh, freaky deaky pictures and videos. So put in a password, something that you're gonna remember. Now you can also use it as a pass through for the internet also. So I set that up so that way I can get my internet access as well as the Wi-Fi from the Mobile Light G2. So now you're gonna to connect to the G2, which I named my GND Mobile Light. And now you're going to see your LEDs. Now you have Wi-Fi coming out. You're actually connected to the internet, which is what the little globe symbol is. And then now we're pretty much ready to roll. Now you can see here I'm connected to the G2, but I still have full internet access. And from what I can tell, I didn't do a speed test, but it seems just as snappy as my regular in-house Wi-Fi. So I don't think there's any degradation with that. So we'll put in, I loaded some sample pictures, videos, music, different things like that onto the card and the USB drive. So we'll plug those in and start taking a look. So I have, uh, I made these folders myself. You have movies, music, pics, and YouTube videos. So we will just take a look at this one. Uh, this is a home movie that I took with one of my phones, uh, I think last summer with Miles uh, flying a kite in our backyard. And you can see the scrub rate on it. You have a little bit of buffering time, but Quite honestly, it's not that bad. I expected it to be a lot worse. So now we'll check out some music. Uh, Judgment Night, if you're unaware of Judgment Night, it's an older movie, but it's a great, great soundtrack. Okay movie, but great soundtrack. A lot of team ups with rap and rock. And the nice thing that I like here is just like with anything else, when you're playing music, scrub rate is not an issue when it comes to music. But when you're playing the music, when you back out, it'll keep it playing at the bottom down there. So that's a, that's a nice feature, I guess. And then pictures, again, are no issue whatsoever. So music, pictures, there's no buffering issues at all when it comes to the music or the pictures. Now I put some of my YouTube videos on here. Now these are 1080 videos and I could not get them to work. So I don't know if it is the file type or if it's the uh, quality or if it's the file size, but for some reason I could not get it to work. I waited quite a long time. I've cut this off, but I waited probably five to 10 minutes and I just couldn't get them to load whatsoever. But as you can see later, I'll play some different type of videos and I've had no issues with anything else except for the YouTube videos that I've actually dropped in. Okay, so that was everything off the SD card. So we'll do the same tests, if you will, for the USB drive. And same thing, I made some temporary folders here, but you can see, you can actually search and look through photos, music, and videos on the USB, on the SD. So here's some pictures, same thing, no issues with buffering or anything with pictures or music. Those go straight through with no issue. 
The one thing that I found with the software that bugs me is I can't just press up top to go back to the root files of USB or the card. You gotta use the back button. And here's a, a Batman animated flick that really there's no real issue. There's a little slight buffering, but again, nothing that's too crazy. I mean, for what you're getting, you could, add, you could bump this up and make your device access to two terabytes worth of media. I'll take a little bit of buffering so again, no issues with that whatsoever. Uh, again, we hear some more just TV shows, some uh, animated The Clone Wars. Again, awesome show if you aren't watching it. But again, nothing real, nothing a big issue with scrubbing or anything like that. And another nice feature is the search option in this software. You can search USB drive or all the different ones, but uh, just searching it, you can just type in clone and then everything's gonna pop up. So as long as you know the title of your media you're looking for, you can use the search. So and then the, in the settings, you have pretty much all the usual cast of characters, your battery life. You can change on visibility for the Wi-Fi, security, uh, turn off the Wi-Fi network. But another great feature, as I mentioned in the beginning, is this is an external battery. So you can see that my phone is already charging and I still have access to the SD card. Obviously not the USB drive because it's gone because I'm using it for power. So that's gonna be about it guys. To me, this is a great device. I highly recommend it. I'm enjoying using it. I like that the kids, I can put more media on and they can use it for their iPad. So to me, this is a fantastic product at a fantastic price. Uh, if you haven't followed me yet, make sure you follow me on Twitter. And if you enjoyed this video, give me the thumbs up. And if you have yet to subscribe, make sure you smack that subscribe button down below and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.